Hey, thanks for tuning in. My name is Noshi, if this is your first time tuning in. Today I'll be going over the 335XI project and also doing some channel uh, updates and pretty much going to go over like why most 335s or N54s or E-series right nowadays are being sold for like peanuts. <laughs> First thing, cheap N54s are usually in bad shape. The main reason why is the maintenance schedule is generally not being followed by the owner, like plain and simple. When this occurs, it causes uh, all the issues that might occur, just like in the 335XI I'm working on. Uh, when I was working on it, if the prior owner had just changed the oil filter gasket and the oil cooling gasket, none of, this, none of these issues would have uh, occurred on it. The problem was, oil was being mixed into the coolant and pretty much when the oil went into the cooling system, it like damaged everything. It coated the whole motor insides, the radiator was filled with oil, the water pump was seized up because it couldn't spin through all that oil, and then oil was coming out of the housing, like squirting all over the engine bay, and then pretty much coating the accessory belt, the tensioner, the alternator was like dripped all over in it, so I had to clean that pretty good. but. Every, all that stuff could have been averted if you just went ahead and just bought like a five, ten dollar, I say not even ten dollar, like twenty dollars in gaskets, pretty much, and an hour or less of like going in and changing those two things. So all in all, I had to go ahead and change the water pump, thermostat, radiator, the hoses, uh, a couple hours of flushing out the engine, and yeah, and finally it started to drive, and I was driving perfectly fine. Uh, I had one issue where it was the boost solenoid was was it buzzing, so it sounds like the car is like so it sounds like the car is farting or something. But yeah, uh, if you've never seen it happen, this is a clip of how it sounds. Uh, uh. So the main thing is on other platform when oil is inside your coolant, that's a red flag. So that's a red flag stating that either your head gasket is gone and something other major has occurred in your car and that engine is done, the car is done, like yeah, it's gonna cost you a bit to fix it. But on the E90Xs or E90X series cars, the chances of a blown head gasket is pretty slim. Like I've seen cars that have driven at least a mile or a mile and a half with like the water pump gone and all kind of like cooling issues and no head gasket. I'm like, man, when I tear into this, this thing's gonna be most likely blown. It's not running ever again. But it's completely fine. Like, hence why I've seen the chances of one of these cars having a blown head gasket is nearly slim to none. What is it? Nearly slim to nil. So most of the time, you can pick up these cars for like cheap as heck, like 1500, 2K or something like that. And all you have to do is have the good link on parts and do labor yourself and you can go ahead and get one of these things back up on the road. So that's what's pretty much I've been doing. So mainly I'm looking at is the body clean, the interior clean, and is this motor able to run again or reliably or all that other stuff. Like you start up, there's no knocking, nothing of the sort. But if it doesn't start, then yeah, the price drops again because right there you're really taking a gamble. Because most of the time, you might be thinking like a rod knock or something. If it's like knocking like crazy and you can't tell because you can't start the car, then yeah, that's a big gamble that I would take, but <laughs> not for everybody. So my PSA of today is go ahead and make sure that your maintenance is on point and the car will pretty much last you for a good while. Uh, once you start missing out on these uh, maintenance schedule, then the money to get things in correct order again is pretty much goes up and after a while you're like man I can't even stand this car anymore. Now on to channel updates. Good news is the channel has reached over a thousand subscribers and officially it's a YouTube partner. Did you hear that? Twerk! Twerk like your Miley Cyrus trying to prove something to your dad. So I just want to thank everyone of you. Really appreciate it and thanks for subscribing and yeah. Also hope you like the intro. I wanted to clean up my videos a bit making them a little bit more crisp and um, I don't know, switch up my editing style a bit. So 
I still have a ways to go, especially on my footage end. I'm like shooting on a GoPro and an iPhone, so hey, <laughs> pretty good, I think, for just on those things. Also, in a new project update video, I have a bunch of exciting projects coming out. The main one is building my spare block N54 motor, which I'm really excited about because once it's built, I'm like, what it's going to go into? Like, either I'm going to pull it out of my current car right now, or I'm going to go ahead and drop it into something else. BMW or non-BMW. Uh, yeah, that will be a fun thing to tackle. <clears throat> So speaking of engines, a fellow YouTuber here in Florida has started his built engine project and it's, yeah, it's coming along pretty good. So if you want to go check that out, it's uh, Spool Zone. Also, I created some t-shirts and such. If you're interested in supporting the things around here, uh, you can go ahead and check it out at complex7.com. I have some more designs I'm finalizing. So I didn't want to just put like a logo on a t-shirt and be like, hey, here you go. My name on it. Like, nah. So I want it to be like actual design where you feel comfortable in it, like something you would actually wear or even buy in a store per se. Also, I'll be posting regularly, so no more hiatuses or anything like that. And as always, forever grateful for all the support. And shout out to all the day one subscribers. You know who you are. Uh, thank you, because during those early times, it was a struggle, like five people watching. But hey, thanks a lot.